Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, um, thanks for subscribing, and if you're not, then thanks for coming back. Today I wanted to just talk about um, comparing, like comparing diets and exercise routines and body types and things like that. So as you guys know, I just got back from my vacations um, for the whole entire summer, so I'm finally home for the rest of the year basically. Um, but it was really tough, like comparing wise, it was very tough. Um, a lot with the bikinis, you know, wearing bikinis is so hard and just even if it's not a bikini, even a one piece is hard. Like, I just always compare myself to everybody else I see on the beach. And I just want you guys to know that you're not alone if you do the same thing. But, you know, I came to realize it's just, it doesn't make any sense and it's really not helpful. And it's just kind of a waste of time. So. The reason why it's not helpful is because, I mean, you're there to enjoy your vacation and it really shouldn't matter what other people look like and I know that's easier said than done, but, you know, people are not looking at me and thinking, oh my gosh, like, straight away looking at my flaws, you know? I am i don't do that to other people and so they don't do that to me, you know? I'm the only one that's like, you know, focusing on my flaws. And another thing is that like we're all so different we can't compare our body sizes you know like some people may naturally just be very very skinny and you know you can't really judge that maybe you're just not meant to be super too super duper tiny and maybe somebody is and that's okay because everybody has their own individual size that their body is happy and healthy at and to be honest guys I didn't wear a bikini I was too scared to wear a bikini and I hate to admit that, but I brought two bikinis and two one pieces and I only wore my one pieces. And like, I wish I could have just, could just go back there right now and just wear a bikini one time. Like, just YOLO, you know what I mean? Like, just go out there and who cares what anyone thinks? You know what? If they're gonna think negative about you, then that's their issue. Um, and it's, you know, nothing to do with you. It's, it's a personal problem with them if they're judging you like that. Everyone is just built so differently and it just doesn't make any sense to like put ourselves in this little bubble that we expect ourselves that, to look like, you know? I mean, we can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna recover but only to a BMI of 19 or 18.5. You know, like the healthy, the lowest end of healthy, like it just is really not helpful because there's only like 5% of the whole population that actually has that BMI and that they're healthy at. So why would we box ourselves in this little tiny category that's just so unrealistic, you know? And it's most likely not where our bodies need to be and that's okay. We just have to come to accept that. Um, another thing I have trouble with is like, you know, comparing diets and stuff like that. So let's say a family member's on a diet or something, they're like low carb or something, I don't know, whatever. And you're over here like eating cereal or whatever. And they're like, oh, I'm on a low carb diet. So I have to eat egg whites and avocado or something like, you know, and I'm, but that just makes me feel like horrible, but you know, I'm on a different path than them. I'm in recovery, I'm supposed to be eating anything and everything, unless I have some kind of allergy to a food, which I don't, I need to be eating everything I can, no restrictions at all. Sorry about that honking, I don't know, somebody just pulled into the driveway and right across from my house and they just started beeping, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that was weird, um, but I also compare when somebody eats less than me or if I eat more, you know, and I actually had this issue a couple days ago. We were out at a restaurant and the person in front of me that was sitting at my table with me, she ordered a soup and so did I, right? And there's either a cup or the bowl, right? And I got the cup, but I also got like a side with it and hers comes out and I guess she ordered a bowl, but she came out with the cup size. So she got the cup size and I was like, oh my gosh, she doesn't have any sides with it. So I must be eating more than her. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Like, 
does that matter? And then I realized that she actually ordered the bowl size because then she came out with another one of the cups. So it'd be like two little cups to equal out to make it like a bowl, you know, because they messed up in the kitchen. Um, but like I immediately freaked out. Like my brain was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna gain weight because she ate less than me. And oh my gosh, like I'm gonna balloon up overnight and it's gonna be horrible. And honestly, how does that make any sense? Like how does what somebody else is eating affect my body. I don't gain weight if somebody eats less than me. Like, that doesn't make any sense, you know? That's just my Ed brain telling me lies and telling me all these stupid things that I'm supposed to believe, apparently, and it's just things that my brain has told me for so many years, and it doesn't make any sense when you take a step back and really look at it, you know? Everybody has different needs, you know? dietary needs and what I need right now is to eat everything and anything I can and I have to eat more than people because I am on a meal plan for gaining weight because I need to gain weight to be healthy right now and you know there's so many people with diet culture they feel like they always have to be losing weight you know diet culture tells us oh you got to eat a salad for breakfast lunch and dinner and that's it anything more than that and you're crazy or something like it's just so toxic and we don't need that in our lives especially in a recovery if we're struggling with an eating disorder we don't need you know to be around people that are on diets and things like that and you know sometimes it's hard to avoid because our family might be on a diet that we live with them and we can't really get away from that and they're gonna make comments you know but we have to stick to our own path and eat what we need to eat for us, not for anybody else, and it doesn't matter what somebody else eats or if somebody skips a meal or whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. It really doesn't. And we need to eat all of our meals, all of our snacks, follow our meal plan, and just screw everybody else. Like, be selfish at this point, and it's okay. Like, it's honestly not being selfish. Taking care of yourself is not selfish, okay? So. Don't feel bad about anything that you eat because somebody else is eating a salad and you're eating a cheeseburger. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna gain weight based on what other people eat or don't eat, okay? Sorry, that kind of turned into a rant, but I just really struggle with it and I don't want anybody else to struggle with it, you know? And I'm starting to really realize how just unhelpful it is and unnecessary and I just want you guys to know that it's okay to eat more than other people right now. You know, it's okay. Some days you're hungrier than others, and that's fine. You know, you gotta honor your hunger and your cravings. It doesn't matter if somebody's not hungry and you are. That doesn't make you weak or make you whatever. Like, whatever your Ed is telling you, it's a lie. It's a lie, and he's out to hurt you. It's out to hurt you. and. You just don't need that negativity, you know what I mean? They're just lies, and we want to get better. We don't want to be stuck and trapped in these lies. Same thing goes with exercise. If somebody exercises, like, all the time, you know, just talking about their workout and blah, 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 and, like, how many calories they burned, or, oh my gosh, I need to go to the gym because I just had a piece of pizza. Like, that's so toxic, and I know that will, like, totally trigger me to be like, oh my gosh, well, if they're going to work out, then maybe I need to work out, I don't know. But no, we don't need to work out. Our bodies are tired. In recovery, we need to rest. We need to feed ourselves and rest because the more we exercise, the more we're just burning things off and we're just making our body even more tired than it already is and we don't need that. So guys, my main message here is do not focus on anybody else on what they look like, on how much they weigh, how much they eat, how much they exercise, you know, none of that. Do not focus on it, focus on you. Right now, you need to be selfish, you need to focus on your recovery, you need to focus on your health and your happiness, and focusing on other people's, you know, stuff, that's just not gonna get you there. So please guys, just take this to heart try to just really remember this and think about it and 
rewatch this video, send it to somebody you might think is struggling with comparing to people. I don't know, just I want to help you guys and yeah, I know it's hard, but we can do it. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I honestly want to um, thank you so much for all the subscribers. Like, I am just shocked that I'm already at 100 subscribers. Like, you guys, like <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not expect that at all, especially within a three week time period. That's the craziest thing ever. So I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And I hope that you continue to like this channel and uh, yeah, <laughs> I wish you guys the best of luck in your recovery and I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.